Hey, um, I'm gonna make a very quick tier list because I've been meaning to. Who doesn't like tier lists? People have their opinions. I've seen a lot of other content creators make tier lists on best to worst killers. So I thought, hey, I'll just jump on that bandwagon. I have nothing else to do. Like I literally have no content. I have been blank, not playing the game and because I've been on vacation. So this is the simplest video I could come up with. So let's start off with Trapper. Um, also, this tier list is just my opinion you know you're not gonna agree with everything that's totally fine uh people have different opinions these are gonna be my opinions on like the best to worst killers uh and i'm gonna start with trapper um and i'm gonna put trapper immediately on the b tier b tier right there it's just in the middle and that's where i think trapper perfectly sits um I could argue he could be C. I don't think F. There's just something fun about playing Trapper. Like, you really have to rely on RNG and hope, like, the map just is in your favor. Like, you really have to, like, hope that survivors just fall in those traps. Because if they don't fall for a single trap, you're kind of just going to lose the game. Um, regardless, though, with the right perks, and add-ons because I think Trapper is just fairly weak with no add-ons. He's just an all-around fun time to play with. Uh, up next, Wraith. Uh, hmm. I think Wraith could be C tier. Even with the new buff coming up where like, you know, he has installed Windstorm where he's a lot faster when he's cloaked. I just still think he's not as fun i just don't like playing wraith i'll have my moments and sure i'll play him for like a challenge or like a ritual i i don't care i just really like even like i would still put windstorm even after the buff to his cloaking ability like you have to rely on the strongest add-ons and the like if you don't have those you're just not gonna play wraith i that's just solely why he's on c tier billy Ah, uh, Billy, I love you, man. Billy's... Hmm. I'm not counting his buff or nerf, if you will, of the overheating mechanism to his chainsaw. I feel that wasn't too grave a change. Like, Billy's still fun to use, and I think he also does rely on RNG, because, you know, if you play a match on, like, Midwitch... Or Hawkins, you're just bound to lose. Um, I think I'll also put Billy on B tier. Nurse, everyone knows, like, you know, um, she is very hard to maneuver, especially if you, like, have just started playing the game. Uh, and you really do have to predict most of the time those blinks. However, a very good nurse will finish a game in minutes. Like, yeah, you'll slug for it, hope there's no unbreakable, but, like, a good nurse can just finish the game so quickly, and I think for that, she just goes to the S tier. Nurse is so good. Michael, the shape, Michael Myers, um, he's really fun. I really do enjoy playing Mikey. I think Mikey was one of the first killers I mained when I started playing DBD, uh, and it's one of the sole reasons why I was so invested in DBD. I was on a Halloween high. Mm, I think I could put Michael on B tier, maybe C tier. I think he's fairly balanced. He also is one of those killers that really relies on strong add-ons, but even still, like if you play him well, like you probably won't even need the tier three most of the time. However, the tier three is the game changer and like could win you the game instantly. So I think I'll just put him B tier. Hag A tier. I'm not even a good hag, but good hags can finish games rapidly. Uh, traversing the map and like, you know, just the fact that she's not much of a chasing killer. Like she really does have to kind of camp. It's kind of her like ability to be fair. But again, hag A tier. Now doctor. Um...
no, nah, in all seriousness, I think, I think Doctor could go B tier. Like, I feel like anyone could pick up Doctor and just kind of like practice and know how he he's just so easy to use. Like, he's not a one hit killer like Billy, but I think he's fun and like you can, he, like. You, you can't hardly often lose with Doctor, and if you do, then I guess, like, you're just not playing him enough. Huntress, um, hmm. Yeah, Huntress is S tier. That's just n a, a, no given. Huntress is so good. Bubba. I feel like a lot of people aren't gonna like this, but I think I'm just gonna put Bubba in A tier. He's an insta down killer, like Billy, but. With the speed of his chainsaw, like he could down so many uh, survivors, like even survivors that start to farm, even with borrowed time, like you know you don't escape that, you don't escape it because his chainsaw frenzy. Like Bubba is so good and so fun, and just like the S tier killers and the A tier killers, he will finish a game in minutes. Freddy. In all seriousness, I don't even like going against Freddy, but just like the doctor, I just feel you could pick him up and just your first game, it'll be a 4K, your second game, 4K, third, 4K. Uh, like, he's not hard to control, and then, like, he has that reach, man, like, and he has, like, mobility. Like, honestly, put barbecue and chili and pop on a Freddy you're not gonna lose ever like you have so much like range and like it, it's 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 impossible like as much as i hate it like it's a given like he's an a tier i'm sorry the pig amanda i'll put amanda on c tier i think amanda is overdue a rework um they could do something with her reverse bear traps I've seen some very good Amandas, but I've also seen some fairly bad Amandas. Um, I think the bear traps, even though like they're meant for early game, she could have some more strength in the end game. But again, that all depends on how you play her. But you don't see a lot of pigs, man. And I do hope they fix something in her. I don't know what, but like, you know. Amanda does have B tier potential. Clown. You know, I think even after the alleged buff and rework they did for him, where like he has that speed boost, I still think he's a C tier killer. Like, I don't think it changed much. Um, people still hardly play him. He's still considered the worst killer in DVD. Uh, yeah, that's why I think he's C tier. Uh, clown. It's just not good and not fun. Spirit. That's an S tier. Come on. Spirit, again, just like everyone else in S tier, like, she will change the game in minutes. Like, because of her ability, like, she'll just grab people off gens, even if they have spine chill. Like, you have a short uh, noise notification to know when she's phasing towards you, but either, like, even still, it's too late. Um, she is so fast so good um and the mind games the stupid mind uh, standing still uh, trick it still works to this day it shouldn't but it does and that already like just makes her so good legion yeah legion c tier i don't know what else to say about legion i think he works a lot like ghostface just a little bit worse because you know no stealthing um there's not much to legion his frenzy benefits and like you know along with like perks like thanatophobia and such to like slow down the game they are good but just not as good as like the others up top plague plague is a tier plague's ability like she's one of those characters that like you need to use her ability and when you do want to infect everyone 
and when you have good mobility, good range, good traversity around the entire map, and everyone that's sick and can't heal, like, come on, that's that's good. And even more so when they all just keep cleansing and, get, and like feeding you your power. A good plague that can aim her ability when like you know people cleanse. Forget about it. That's an insta down. Like, game's over. It's actually impressive. Ghostface, Ghostface is mid. Ghostface is absolutely mid. Um, he's just the same as Myers, if not more difficult. I think Myers, honestly, me even being a Ghostface main, I used to argue that Ghostface was much more fun than Myers. I take that back now. Myers, I think, is a little bit more fun because, you know, you can stalk all you want and no one will break you out of it. And I think a lot of people complain about that with Ghostface, how you could stalk all you want, um, you'll be broken out out of nowhere from miles away. It's ridiculous. It's crazy. Uh, the most I would say, his stealth ability while in a chase or in a jungle gym, he's so easy to mind game with and it's so fun. Like, you will catch survivors off guard, and that's one of the funnest things I enjoy in Ghostface. Even if you run... Uh, nurse's calling you'll find someone hiding healing you know you'll see their aura activate your stealth come up behind them insta down that's a freebie uh you know ghostface is fun but he's absolutely mid-tier demo demo c tier at least for me i've played a couple demos games and i think i've lost more of them than i could count uh that's not to say he's you know awful if someone out there means a demo like good on you you are better than me instantly like kudos man uh he's he's fun to play with absolutely demo is so fun like his lunge and everything is entertaining and we've saved the best for last like that's just a built-in for him like you need to save the best for last you know but he's just not for me i can't main demo maybe one day i do enjoy playing him demo's very fun and i also do love going against demo I'll never give someone a hard time because, you know, I commend you for even, like, making the attempt. Oni... Oni is... Is Oni A tier or B tier? Because I think Oni is just... Kind of like Billy, but you have to work for it by... Obtaining blood. However, you can continue... Uh, the Demon Dash... Unlike Billy, you know, until, like, you know, the meter runs out, you have to, then you have to, like, regain blood. But Oni's- I haven't played enough Oni. I don't think I could even say. I don't want to, like, you know, talk without, you know, having enough of an experience. I'm gonna put in mid-tier. I'll put Oni right now for B-tier. And I think... Deathslinger. I think Deathslinger could be A-tier. Like... I think Deathslinger also works very well to save the best for last. Like, you'll have your gun, like, cocked and loaded already, like, a whole lot faster. Um, and because of the range of his gun, like, you can cause a lot of damage. No, yeah. And also, Deathslinger is actually surprisingly fun. Um, he was one of the few killers that I didn't enjoy, like, concept-wise. Uh... I just thought it was very lazy, his character, it's just a cowboy, whereas everyone else is just kind of like a cursed monster. But nonetheless, he is super fun. I remember I, I enjoyed him a lot at launch. Pyramid Head, I'm, I might be biased because I love playing Pyramid Head, but he's gonna go A tier. Pyramid Head's ability is so fun and it's just the fact that like on the third death hook if someone's tormented he could just insta moy them it is he, he is just fantastic like you using his abilities is so good and benefits and a good pyramid head who has a lot of hours in the game and on this character will finish a game in minutes it's he, he's he's great blight I also might be biased. I feel people can argue that he's C tier. I'm gonna go ahead and put him in B tier because he's so fast. Like he can traverse so much of the map and along with Tinker and like Hex Ruin, you'll have a lot of pressure and people won't see you coming. Uh, he like, 
Blight's fun, especially with the new rework coming up to him, where, like, uh, you'll be taller. Like, the man's gonna be wearing high heels now. Dude, like, you'll be able to see through windows now, and that is, what more could you ask for? When Blight came out, I was learning him, you know, I had the training wheels on and everything, and he was hard to handle at first, but afterwards, he just was so fun. Like, you enjoy bashing your head on walls and just, you know, getting lucky and just running in front of a survivor and downing them on the spot. No, Blight is so fun. I really did enjoy Blight when he first came out. And now the twins. I'm not even joking. Like, it's not a meme. Like, the twins are not good. I don't see anyone play them. And the few times I did play them, I actually rage quit. And it takes a lot for me to rage quit. I just... I just feel they need something new. I don't know what yet. A slight rework could help. They're similar to Hag, where like, you know, you have to switch between Victor and Charlotte, and you know, you kind of have to camp with one or the other. Uh, and again, like, all these killers, what benefits them is their powers. You have to use their powers in order to win the game. So it takes a lot more, like, you know, effort and skill. Uh, with the twins, you have to rely on Victor a lot. And I can understand why people get upset when, you know, you miss a lunge on Victor and immediately you lose him. Like, they will kick him. Uh, so without Victor, you can't really do much. Charlotte's fairly slow and kind of clunky, to be honest. You have to kind of wait to regain Victor. And there you have to play the gamble of like, oh, am I going to land this lunge or am I going to miss and lose Victor instantly again and have to wait and, you know, lose the match. So... Yeah, the Twins could use a bit of a rework. Not my favorite killer, to be honest. Like, out of the entire roster, I think the Twins easily takes, at least for me, the trophy for the worst killer in Dead by Daylight as of now. But yeah, um, that's my tier list. If you guys want to argue, I'm more than welcome to hear you guys' thoughts in the comments. Um, and also, share with me your tier list. Uh, who you think are S-tier killers, who you think are bad killers. This is my opinion, and you know, if you have different thoughts, I'm happy to listen. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, goodbye.